So, I have some bad news. See, I was climbing the other day and I was really tired after completing my 500 moves when I very stupidly decided to get one more climb in on a hard grade for me. And I put my finger in a two finger pocket. And now, I can't climb anymore. What do you think, John? I think you're screwed. <laughs> rough dude. Usually finger injuries happen when people go too hard too fast. Uh, and That is exactly what I just did. Are my climbing days over? No. You need to figure out the severity of the injury and then figure out the best way to recover. Usually it starts with rest. Rest is the only thing you can do at first. So rest is the best thing. And when you start to feel that internal pain you have to back off. But it only takes one day of going a little too hard to just retweak it and make it start right back at the beginning. Going from 5.9 to 5.13, the manner that takes you from like step to step to step and breaking through plateaus is a lot of strain, especially on your fingers. Right there, it hurts a lot. Mm -hmm. Like not in the joints, but right there, a lot. It sounds like a pulley injury. I'm not a doctor. It's basically a straw. And as you, as your tendon pulls, it'll rip the pulley. A pain usually means you just ripped it a little bit. Like, With an acute pain, yeah. you need to stop climbing for a week or two. And remember, we're not doctors. Not as a doctor, not but from your experience <laughs> as a climber. But if you have a finger injury, you need to go talk to your doctor and actually get professional medical advice. What have you noticed help? Focusing on low impact type finger exercises like using the rice bucket. Definitely work on strengthening all the antagonist muscles, so anything pulling away. A couple of things you can do that help hot cold bath it stimulates the blood flow. Okay. So it shouldn't be super hot and it shouldn't be ice cold. So even like a rubber band on there when you're driving, just stretching it apart. And then the rice bucket. I gotta do an episode on the rice bucket. It's coming soon. When your muscles are getting stronger, the tendons take a lot longer to catch up. Our muscles are here, and our tendons are here, and then our muscles start going up, but our tendons are kind of trailing behind. All of my training just like came to a standstill. Supplemental training, especially if you're trying to get, get stronger. Doing a lot more core rather than finger intensive exercises. Uh, doing the cross training. That way I didn't have to climb as much in order to continue to progress. Not climbing, but doing, finding certain workout routines that increase your climbing strength and your endurance. Circuit workouts. Pull-ups, push-ups, box jumps, abs, lunges, kettlebell exercises. The biggest difference between 5.12 and 5.13 is your body's ability to just maintain the effort. It is harder but it was the, the difficulty of the moves was never the problem for me. It was my body continuing to perform yeah. long enough to descend. Once you start climbing again, you need to tape. Buddy taping the finger so it's not bearing the entire load together with another finger next to it, that can like really help you out so that it's not, like I said, taking the load of, a, of an entire hole. Yeah. And then don't crimp. Open hand everything, do easy stuff. Yeah. See how it feels. But the tape is there more as a reminder that you're hurt, not as a, this will keep me from getting injured. Right. It's not, the tape still stretches. It was really dumb of me that I, uh, that I did that though, right? Like oh, I'm yeah. exhausted and then I did a pocket on a hard climb. Oh yeah. Climbing when you're fatigued, all your technique goes out the door. So for those of you who don't know what a pocket is, that's a pocket, right? So I put my fingers in like that and I pulled and so I put two fingers in. All of my weight was on that one hand. And that's when I, I hurt my finger. I'll learn my lesson someday. I guess this is how you learn your lessons. Don't forget to like and subscribe and turn on notifications so you never miss an episode. <laughs>